Hello, my army of apartment maniacs, my legion of leasers. Hey, by the way, if you're not in the army, if you're not in the legion, stop what you're doing right now. Click that little red box. You see that little red box with that with the hand thing on it? Click that and subscribe. But more importantly, hit notifications. Because if you work in property management or you want to get a job in property management, which by the way, you picked an excellent career. Why did you pick an excellent career? Every day, more and more people are choosing to rent where they live than own a home. So this industry, it's expanding, all right? So employers are looking for great people like you, great people that watch videos like this and are great and can help them lease those apartments. So make sure you subscribe, make sure that you hit notifications because this is all about you. It's all about helping you get better. It's all about helping you get more done. And most importantly, it's all about helping you lease more apartments so your career can go see you at the top through the roof. My name's Matt Easton. I'm the founder of Leasing University. Leasing University is the number one sales training platform for leasing agents and property managers in the world. Please check us out over at leasinguniversity.com. Let's talk about a simple pro and a pretty bad con when it comes to property management. Let's do some quick property management pros and cons. Pros, all right? Pro is we ask a lot of questions in this industry and hey, in general, that's a good thing. If you don't believe me, I want you to pick up the phone and I want you to call some apartment communities and see if you can connect with a leasing agent. They're gonna ask you a lot of questions. Now, I'm gonna put an asterisk on that because it's probably gonna take you over 10 calls to actually reach a live human. You're gonna get a lot of answering services. You're gonna get a lot of recordings. It's gonna be tough to reach somebody. Now, hopefully you'll call a leasing university trained leasing agent and they're going to answer within three rings and they're going to say some very specific stuff when they answer the phone. That being said, when you reach a property, they're going to ask you a lot of questions. Now, as they ask you these questions, I want you to see how these questions make you feel because this brings me to a con. In general, property managers and leasing agents ask the wrong questions. The questions are all about what's your budget? When do you need to move? The very specific, very uh, nuts and bolts of this lease, they won't ask. Typically, they're not gonna ask anything important. What's most important to you? Why is that most important? What do you wanna see first? Why do you wanna see that first? Where are you living right now? And tell me what's your ideal? What's your ideal living situation? If you could have your dream apartment, what does that look like for you? They're not trained in asking those right questions. So they're not establishing a relationship with their prospect and more importantly, they don't know what's important to their prospects. So now when they face objections and complaints from their prospect, well, they're not armed with anything of value to be able to refocus that prospect on the mission and that is finding the right apartment for them. Another con that we do, and this is just pretty much terrible across the industry and why we focus on this so much at Leasing University, we don't listen. And let me explain what I'm talking about. When you call those properties, they're gonna ask you a question. You're gonna give them an answer they're probably gonna 95 plus percent of the time, maybe 100% of the time, comment below, they're not gonna ask you any follow-up questions. When do you need to move in by? Well, I need to move in by December 11th. Great, got it. They're not gonna ask you, what makes that date important? Why, why that date? What's going on? Oh, well, I'm being transferred from work. Oh, where really, where do you work? Da -da. Are they gonna pay for your move? Uh, no, they're not gonna pay for my move, but if I don't find housing by the 11th, they will pay for one month of temporary housing. They're not gonna dig in and learn about your personal situation. This puts them in a really difficult position when they're during that, doing that tour because then all they really are is a tour guide. They're not a trusted professional that knows about the prospect, that is a great, great handle on their current situation and really understands what their ideal scene is so they can match 
that apartment to that specific renter's wants, needs, hopes, and dreams. The final con that we do all the time in property management, unfortunately, is we don't show our prospects that we're listening. How do we do that? Well, we do that by asking those follow-up questions. We do that by repeating back with our repeating back what we've heard to our prospects. That's why at Leasing University we teach the recap method, right? So you're going to recap your understanding of their current situation. You're going to ask them, hey, does that still match what you need? Has anything changed? Is there anything that I'm missing here? We're going to have this open two-way dialogue so that your prospect most importantly feels heard and also so that you make sure that you don't have the wrong information. It's amazing how many times a leasing agent will think they know something, they won't verify it with their prospect, and what they think the reality is couldn't be further from the truth. So when it comes to pros and cons, pros, hey, we ask a lot of questions. But unfortunately, on the con side, we ask the wrong questions in the wrong ways. We don't dig into those questions to find the real why behind those answers. And we don't show our prospects that we listen because for the most part, we're not listening. We're just writing down the answers and we're not actively listening and confirming our understanding with our prospects. Listen, I know this is gonna help. I want you to focus on this. If you need the tools, to do this, well, this is exactly the type of stuff that we teach you at Leasing University. And people that go through our training lease seven times more apartments than the rest of the industry. So please check us out at Leasing University. I hope you've subscribed. I hope you hit those notifications. And until I see you on the next video, well, I want you to be great and I want you to get those leases.